Hello, this is Todd Money and Webb Anholtz. We're with Landmark Implement. Today we're going to be going over the maintenance of an AB485 on an F4365 floater chassis. The engine oil is a 100 hour service. After that, running a John Deere oil filter and oil, it is then a 500 hour oil change. The next thing is the front hubs here. They are a 50 hour service. After that, they're an annual service. They take 8140 synthetic oil. We'll go on back here. Daily, we need to drain the water out of all the tanks by flipping this out. <clears throat> the suspension is a 10 hour grease. Um, everything on the boom, all the zerks, all the moving parts on the boom are a daily grease. On the right hand of the machine where Todd's pointing, that is the grease bank for the rollers on the AB485. Those are a 50 hour Zerk. That does the front of the box. Now our rollers here, the front rollers are greased on the back of the machine, right side, and these four Zerks right here for the left side. Those are also a 50 hour Zerk. The grease Zerks here, here, and here are a daily Zerk. They are for the pivoting of the boom. We have two of them right here on the support pin, and then the rest of them are in here. Guys that have the Lincoln Lubers on them will have three Zerks in here. You still have to grease manually. They do not have the grease hoses on them. So on the Lincoln Lube guys, we're using uh, grade one grease. If you see on the tube, we have GLGI rating of one. That's a little bit thinner grease. So in the colder weather, it will go through those Lincoln Lube quarter inch hoses real, a lot better. But if you don't have a Lincoln Lube system, we can use our standard polyurea TY 6341 on all these grease fittings. But most of the ones we sell, we add the Lincoln Lube on them. But like Webb said, we still have a few grease circs in the system. These three here on this with the boom unfolded will not have tubes. Still need to have it greased daily. If you do not use the Mobile One grease in your Lincoln Luber, you need to use a dye-free grease. Lincoln Luber says using the John Deere grease or a dyed grease will dye the con container that the grease is in and you will not be able to see how much grease is in the machine. Very important, we have two types of deflectors. Uh, we have left and right and then we also have a long deflector and this one's a short deflector and it's got two separate part numbers. So you can see just the neck on them are a little longer and they alternate short, long, short, long all the way across the boom. This proper deflector angle is crucial for your uh, proper product spread. You can see here the top of the deflector should be set at zero degrees and then when it's on this side here should be roughly 65 degrees. This is on the left and right boom. On the center section it should be set at 55 degrees. Todd has one here as you can see this is going to affect our product spread pattern the way it's bashed in. This one here you can see has been pushed up which is going to allow our product to spread farther than it should and not get an even contact on the field. You know, this could be caused by backing into something um, or a multitude of things, but just be cognizant of that angle because that will not give you a proper spread pattern on your spread there. While we're on the back of the machine, we have two gearboxes on each side. We have a second bin and the lower bin there, which would be our front bin. Those are in annual service. They take 80, 90 oil. So as Todd's pushing here, this is on bin one. We should have inch and a half to two inches of chain deflection that is adjusted on the front roller for that box. Now it is the same for the top one, but the dimension is different. You do the same deflection on that one, but it is inch to inch and a half. To adjust those, you adjust that on the outside of the box above the wheel, and then you also have to crawl in the inside above the drive shaft to adjust it. You need to adjust that on both sides evenly so your chain stays running straight. One thing is we have the deflector off here now, slide screen. Each one of your tubes has a port in it and it's important to check these daily to make sure they're not plugged. We also have a product called IntelliSense that we can add to the deflectors that will sense if the product is not reaching the deflector. But if one of these is plugged, obviously you're going to have a skip or a problem in your pattern. So this is important to check the cleanliness of these ports daily. 
Now it's not a technical term, but we call these ice cube dividers. That's coming off the belt and then dividing those evenly to each of the tubes. We have to make sure that these are clear, free of obstruction, and there's no buildup or plugs in the distribution tubes. And this is also a distribution that helps drop that from the different levels of bins into this piece here. So make sure that they're clean, free of debris and not bent is part of our daily check. This is our product roller for our micro bin. Um, this is located up in this area. It's real important, especially if you let the machine set for a while, that you pull this roller out and make sure there are no plugs or bridging of products uh, on this micro bin because it's going to read the rotation but it can't tell if it's plugged and if this is just turning and not dispensing product you're going to have misapplication issues. And this can be easily taken in and out and I'll kind of demonstrate the going back in process. You have a clip on each side that holds the roller bearing. The bearings sit down in the bearing holder on both sides. The cogs in the gears on the drive motor and then these bearing keepers snap in and it's installed. But you, you can't see that it's plugged without taking that out and checking that I would do it daily. So this is a unique system to the deer. Uh, we have moved the cooling package forward towards the front of the engine. It keeps it out of the dust from the rear tires and also from the, the fan on the blower. And it's important to make sure that these fins are clean. Um, and then there's electric fans behind here we need to make sure in operation. The hydraulic system for the boom itself is a separated system. So it has a reservoir tank here. All the hydraulic reservoirs on this, there are three, take high guard, not turf guard. So this is different from the sprayers that we have. We're using high guard in three separate hydraulic reservoirs that each are isolated for different functions on the machine. And then go over to the other side and show you where all those are. But I wanted to show you where the cooling package was for the main airframe. Uh, the neat thing about this machine, very similar to the sprayers, we have a 150 gallon fuel tank, 7.8 uh, gallon def tank, that's good for 2% use still. Same configuration, it's just a little lower on the floater. The other good thing about this engine is this is the same 9 liter engine that's in the sprayers from a R4038, R40. 44, R4045, and R4060. It's the same 9 liter engine, same oil filters, same fuel filters, uh, so it's a lot of common parts so we don't have to buy a lot of different things for a lot of different units. The only thing different on this one is that the fuel filter on the back is a little shorter to accommodate for the motor mount. Air filters along with the cab air filters are a 500 hour service or annual service. The cab filters are still a carbon activated filter. Here's where you adjust the second chain for second bin right there. There's also a adjuster on the inside and you'll have to adjust that the same amount on this side and the inside. There's also a setup for the chain on the other side. Um, the hub here, this is a 100 hour service and along with the center axle on the rear end after that it is a 750 hour service for this hub and the axle in the rear end is then a thousand hour service they also take the 8140 oil this is the air dryer on this machine this is a annual service um, the filter just spins off the top we spin a new filter on and we're done with that the hydraulic tank for the bin right there is your fill this one here is for transmission and the front one is for steering and brakes. Those all, like Todd said, have hydraulic oil in them and they are a thousand hour service along with the hydraulic filters on the mach machine. The steering filters though on this machine are a 500 hour service. When you do that thousand hour service, there's also a grease point on the front of the transmission we need to grease. 
you'll have to get that from underneath. Then there's also a gear case that is a thousand hour oil change on front of the transmission. Of course, all of this is in our owner's manual. We just want to kind of go over some highlights with you on the points on the machine. 